Konnichiwa, Mina this is t you're watching PokeCast. Today's 10 Minute First Impressions video is going to be on a Genesis game, and that is James Bond 007, The Duel. This is going to be fun. Don't know exactly what this was. Oh, it's a side-scroller. I don't know if I'm excited now. <laughs> I know I am. This is going to be fun to see um, just how the game is and what exactly... Oh, you're saving the... Dude, Bond babes. Okay. Well, as always, 10 minutes to play the game. First time playing the game, old version thereof, and I can't skip anything. Let's get that timer started. Timer started, and away we go. Jump, fire, grenade. Okay. Ooh. Mission 1 Four Lives. That it? Uh, really? That's all you, the information you can give us? Okay. Die, you! Wow! They have mega guns, too. Guess I can't go inside the door. Man, I think hits hard. Wow, Mr. Bond, you really can jump. Do you work out? Okay. Guess I won't go up since they won't let me. Oh, I'm dead. Hmm. Crap, it's one of those games. You keep your save person. But, they all come back to life. Whoa! Where did the second guy come from? Oh, crap! It's one of those! Yeah, that's not happening. I really need to get up there. <sighs> but that's not going to happen. Hmm. Whoa! No, I died again. Yep, typical Sega Genesis game. Made to kill you. Oh, you think you're funny, huh? Well, now you're dead. Okay. Dang it. So I only get four hits. The great Mr. Bond can only survive so many hits. Right, that totally makes sense. Okay. Music's good. OC Remix, we need a... Uh... Whoa, there's a guy over there! Whoa, another one! What the heck? Enemies respawn here. We don't know why, they just do. So if you're not fast enough, they will hurt you. What the crap? It exploded! What are those that even I'm collecting? Okay, well, I'm not going up because I can't do anything up there because as soon as I get there, the guy shoots me and I go flailing across the screen. Alright. This ship is way bigger 
Don't know what it looked like on the map. Seriously. And I just got ate up by sharks. Because Mr. Bond doesn't know how to jump in this game. Alright. Okay. That was stupid. Take that. For you are my enemy, and you are now dead. Of course, I'm almost dead, so I shouldn't be talking. Yes. Wait. There's the down. Nope, not going down. I just gonna eat my sharks. Yes, I have grenades now. I don't know if that's a good thing, but hey, I'll take him. Ugh. Really? Oh, come on. You were dead. You know it. All right. Nice. Now we are going up. Whatever! I shot first! Oh, and there just has to be like 40 of them up up top. Okay. So, I found... Clock? <sighs> it would be so much of a problem if the, sh if the jump, you know, the, the jump back or uh, pushback was so high. One gunshot and it's like he got hit by Superman. Which makes it completely and utterly redonkulous, seriously. And I can get hurt by falling. Yeah. Because we're not gonna make this easy for Mr. D. Bond. So, question, why can I go up here? Look at me. I am Bond. You cannot see me. I am Bond. Why? Oh, you can only do that the doors to uh, guard yourself. That's clever. And I'm dead. I wish there would be more uh, about hey, you can you can jump onto this. You can't jump onto that. Okay. I'm not going up there. It's completely stupid. I mean, there's. Really was no reason to even be able to go that way. Okay, stop reappearing.
Yeah. I knew it was going to happen, but I didn't know if I could dodge it or not. So I tried to dodge it, probably jump, and then land in the water. Oh, whatever! I try it, and it completely and utterly fails. Um, other way, stupid. And now I have no health again. Oh, because of a feature that doesn't work properly. Fine, get eaten by sharks, I don't care. Timer's up. Okay, what do I think about this game? Graphically looks not bad. Music's pretty awesome. Controls work, it's just he doesn't know how to jump worth anything. The enemies respawn like crazy. Yay, I hate it when they do that. And it's just your typical side scroller on the older systems. Insanely brutally hard because the controls do not want to officially work properly. Or I shouldn't say the controls, it's that uh, certain elements don't seem to want to play nicely and you tend to die a lot because if you don't jump at the right time, well, then goodbye, which is typical for a side scroller. Um. But yeah, I mean, just wow, that was quite impressively, <laughs> horrendously done by me. But, I mean, that's actually pretty cool. They do have some pretty cool elements in here. I was surprised about the the dodging system. I was not expecting that at all. Um, the biggest problem I have about this game is the pushback. One bullet sends you flying like 20 feet. That's not very helpful. You got five. You can take up to six hits. And you start with, I think it was four or five lives. Okay. Get rid of the pushback. Because that's the major thing that's causing some unwanted issues. I can see that they wanted to do the realism with the uh, fall mechanics, but the pushback, you know, hey, that's not realism. We'll just make it even stupider. Whatever. Um... It's definitely one of those games that, yes, I would be playing the heck out of this just to try and beat the game. Probably using a lot of Game Genie just to make sure I have enough lives and infinite energy, but hey, I would try probably a little while, and then if I can't get any further, give up and just do that instead. Who knows? It's not a terrible game. Um, and it d did come out to the Genesis, Game Gear, and Sega Mastery system, so that's a plus. And it makes me wonder what, how the other versions are like. But, yeah, here's this game, and it's not terrible. It's just really, really hard. Which is expected in this, uh, on this system. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Tisa Kura saying ciao and sayonara.